Hey guys, Jay with Jay's to Do List here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to laser engrave and color fill granite. Uh, one, some people may not even know that you can laser engrave with cheap CO2 lasers onto granite. So I'm going to show you how I engrave onto granite and we do a color fill. So it's mainly on the color fill side. Don't be fooled by granite. I'm going to give you some of my um, tricks and tips here. Uh, this is a piece of black onyx granite and it's about a half inch thick. I make all kinds of things with these. We do um, uh, animal memorials and adhere this to a patio stone, which I'll show in another video. Adhere to a patio stone to make a uh, memorial for somebody. All right, guys, don't go out and spend 50, 60, 70 dollars on a piece of granite. This piece of granite is solid onyx black granite from Home Depot, and I want to say it's $3.99 for a tile. So it's $3.99 for a half inch tile. You can uh, hang this up on the wall. You can hear this to a patio stone, make it something strong and rigid that can be out in the yard. Uh, all kinds of cool, funny things, you can, fun things you can do on granite. And it's a great way to practice. So if you got a piece that you just want to practice, three bucks instead of 40, 50 bucks, it's the way to go, <laughs> in my opinion. So I actually picked this up from the Home Depot for $3.99. Uh, I can put a link in the description below. Today I'm going to be using my uh, smaller 60, 600 by 900 millimeter 80 watt machine. This might be closer to something you have, so I don't have to do it on my big machines. Um, you don't have to have 80 watts. You can use a 60 watt or even a 40 watt laser. Uh, you might be able to do it smaller, never tried, because I never owned one smaller than 40 watts. But um, this is my 80 watt machine. Let's go ahead and get it set up. You can actually set this up just about how you would with any other laser engraving. I know we mostly work with wood, hence my shirt. <laughs> Uh, so we normally work with wood, they're a wood sign store at footstepsandpass.com, but we do like to work with granite. However, we don't do granite with our mail order stuff, we do these for local pickup only. We're actually opening up a store here in a couple of months. You can take measurements off of your frame here to make sure this is square. Quick cheat, a quick cheat I like to do is just get something consistent. Uh, this is what I had lying over here, because I do most of my engraving on the other machine over there, but this one's ready to go. So. So take this and we'll pair the square tile down here. Just make sure we're square. It should be relatively square within the frame of this. So now we'll just set this guy over here. Origin. And then I'm gonna focus. Hey guys, I have auto focuses on my big machine. Personally, I think there are, you don't need them. <laughs> of my auto focus, it kept getting hung up and breaking on many things. I took it off of my big expensive machine and I just wound up focusing with the uh, standard blocks that these things come with. It works just about as good. So I got this already here and it's ready to go in the corner. And I'm gonna go ahead and download the image and get her started. Okay guys, this is gonna be running at 175 millimeters a second and 65% power on an 80 watt machine. I do not recommend going over 65 watts on your laser tubes, just for future reference. Okay, look like we're done here. Ooh, there it is. Now we're going to get this just a little bit better. Actually, we're going to get this a lot better. It's going to really pop. If you stay tuned, I'll show you in just a second. All right, so here's the granite piece. I just pulled off the laser. I sat it down right here. So first thing we're going to do, we've got dust all over this. So we're going to get this dust off, just a quick wipe. And then you want to go over this with a chemical to make sure it's clean. The chemical I choose to use is denatured alcohol, which is if you're a laser person, you should have on hand anyways for cleaning your tools. I do have some videos on how to clean lasers with denatured alcohol. You can check those. I'll put the link above in the description. I'm sorry, I put the link up up top here. So let's just get this cleaned up with alcohol. Just make sure there's no dust in here. You see my white cloth is now dirty. So that... 
That's why I use alcohol because this is already dissipated and I am ready to go ahead and start my color fill process. First thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the paint that I'm using is a, a Rust-Oleum's uh, Ultra Color. I'm going to go with Almond just because it kind of goes with our logo for the Footsteps in the Past logo. You could do any color. You could do every little piece a separate color. It doesn't matter. The process works the same. I'm going to make the entire thing Almond. Uh, on black, white really likes to pop. So if you wanted to go through and color fill this stuff white, you could do that. But again, I'm using almond. So we'll give this a good shake and then get it opened up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put, get, take out a rag. Wear gloves if you'd like. This is a, a no VOC paint, uh, water cleanup. Uh, so if you wanna wear gloves, go ahead. I'm not going to just cause I don't care. And I do this stuff all the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the paint, load the rag, and then we're just gonna be very liberal. Let's go right over the whole thing. Fill this bad boy up. Okay, like so. That rag is now trash. We're gonna come back over with a dry rag, just a dry rag. We're we'll gonna start wiping up like this. So I'll show you the, the cleanup in just a second. Another clean rag. And you'll notice when I was uh, wiping it off there, I was buffing it off. I had a dry rag, not a wet rag and I buffed it off, it all came off phenomenally. We don't need to use mineral spirits or paint thinner with this process. This, this process is actually a lot easier than a um, than a wood. If you want to see how to color fill wood, which is much more difficult, you can check out my link above, and I'll probably might put it at the end of the video if you stick around that long, if you're still here. But anyways, this is the finished product right here. So this is color filled with almond. So when this gets wet, that will stay there. Uh, if you didn't do a color fill and you put this outside or something and it got wet, say you want to use a hot plate for your, uh, in your uh, kitchen or something like that, you, um, and it got wet, <laughs> this would actually disappear while it was wet. Now that it's painted, that'll stay there and it really pops. What do you think? Alright, I'm Jay. This is my to-do list. Thanks for stopping.